afternoon. My name is Hernanda Peralta. And I'm Dana. Today we're traveling back 3,000 years ago to get to know more about our American ancestors. First of all, what is Mesoamerica? It is an area that stretches south from central Mexico to northern Honduras. We need to be able to look at Mesoamerica. <laughs> The first Mesoamericans were the Olmec. They first came into the picture around 1,200 BC in the jungles of southern Mexico. In 1860, a worker made an extraordinary discovery, and we are lucky enough to have him here to tell us what he found in southern Mexico. So I was regularly doing my job. It was a hot, sunny day, and I found what at first looked like a huge stone. I kept digging and found out it was a five feet tall sculpture that weighed about eight tons. The sculpture had an enormous head and a giant headpiece. The head had thick lips, flat nose, and large eyes. It looked so real. Thank you for sharing with us your wonderful discovery that amazed many archeologists. The giant head was a representation of, what, of the Olmec civilization. Today we're welcoming two special guests who will give you the real story behind the Olmec civilization. Hello, um, we're from the Olmec civilization. We lived in the Gulf Coast of Mexico, what is today Veracruz and Tabasco. And no, no that kind of Tabasco. The region was hot and humid and covered with swamps and jungles. The sunlight barely hit the ground because of the giant trees. Every year we received up to 100 inches of rain, which made up victims of many floods. We used salt and tar we found to make pottery, wood and rubber from the rainforests, and hard stone from the hills to build tools and monuments. Our land was also very fertile. You used caponeras for transportation, but guess what? There were no caponeras in that time. Instead, we used rivers. We are very sure they used all of the resources available to build a thriving community. The oldest site is San Lorenzo, which confirms the existence of the civilization. At San Lorenzo, they built um, courtyards, pyramids, and huge monuments. They also found altars and sculpted heads that represented the Olmec rulers. The giant monuments weighed as much as seven mammoths. They also found another significant site, La Venta. No! I was saying La Venta was the tomb of a great Olmec ruler. It was also a worshipping site where they prayed to many nature gods. However, their main deity was the rain god. Which was half human and half jaguar. The others are important as well. They represent earth, fertility, and mace. Nana, what do you call um, a Mesoamerican unicorn? I don't know, Fernanda. A unimaze! Get it? Ha 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 ha. Mexicans are professional drug dealers. The network boosted the Olmec economy all the way to Honduras. The Olmec civilization collapsed and we still do not know why. Some people say San Lorenzo was destroyed and that outside invaders caused the destruction. This led to the fall of San Lorenzo followed by the collapse of, of La Venta. Another theory says that upon the death of the rulers, the Olmecs may have destroyed their own monuments. After the fall of the Olmec, the Zapotec rose. They demonstrated some Olmec influence, but they built a unique civilization in what is modern day Oaxaca. Our home is Oaxaca. It's a region full of mountains and valleys. We come from Oaxaca Valley, which is formed by three fertile valleys. The climate and enough rainfall supported agriculture and drew other societies' attention to settle in scattered villages. San Jose Mogote, which was the main power of the Zapotec, temples and monumental sculptures were built. Most importantly, we developed forms of writing and calendar systems. Then our civilization advanced. We built the first urban, urban center ever, located in the Americas. It was named Monte Alban. It had a beautiful view of the whole valley. It was home to at least 25,000 people. The plaza was beautiful, like us. It had pyramids, temples, 
and palaces all made out of stone. We visited the observatory frequently, where we observed the stars to establish a calendar. Oaxaca, where the only beautiful women are tourists. Even though both civilizations collapsed, they influenced the other Mesoamerican civilizations that followed. The Olmec's legacy includes their art, especially the jagger motif that can be seen in pottery and sculpture. They also left their pattern of urban designs, planned ceremonial centers, ritual ball games, and elite ruling class, which um, other Mesoamerican societies adopted. Their descendants carved out stone symbols that influenced later glyph writing. The Zapotec also left behind their own legacy. It included a hieroglyphic writing system and a calendar system based on the movement of the sun. They were also the first city builders, like Monte Alban, which later developed into urban centers. <laughs> and drew other societies' attention to the <laughs> This trade network. <laughs> oh. <laughs>